Alright, here we go. Sub level 8 of Dream Den, which means we are halfway there. <laughs> also, I'm very curious to know how um, the Titan Dweevil is going to go, because I'm going to try to use a Purple Pikmin against that. And I've never really tried that. It's usually just been uh, yellows. But regardless, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 2. Didn't need to disband it right there, I just get the buttons confused sometimes. And sub level 8 is actually one of the more peaceful levels once you actually get all the hazards out of the way. You could do it, little purple pigment. You could do it. You could do almost there, almost there, buddy. And ah, uh, yeah, it made it. <laughs> and the reason why I'm just only targeting the, uh, the hazards right now is because, well, they're hazards. And I'm going to try to keep these three bulls alive as well as the other creature that's here. I don't actually know what the name of that is. I just call it the whistle enemy because technically it is whistling. And it's much like the Puff's Duel in Pikmin 1 where it doesn't actually want to attack you or the Pikmin. It just kind of does that and gathers the Pikmin in order to actually protect itself. It's like, I don't blame it. I'm so glad that the uh, Pikmin survived right there, and it's very close to uh, actually all of more of them. But hopefully, it doesn't actually get any of the Pikmin, and even if it does, it'll just bounce away because of how close it is. <laughs> and I'm very curious to know if we're able to actually beat this level without the need of actually destroying any of these Dweebles and or that dude over there. I don't know if there's any prairie treasure, so that might just be the most awkward part about this. Like from getting the sleep pigment up here. You could do it again, dude. It's so close. And I love how it's just floating up there. Do you think it's taking an elevator? Do you think it has something else? But bam, we got this. As you can see, this one's electric, so we're gonna make sure we uh, don't just throw it directly into this death and doom. And there we go. And now it's the use one more hazard aside from the poison, and see just like that, it doesn't even want to do anything with the Pikmin once it's actually there. Oh, aw. Oh. Pikmin's like, okay, no buddy, no, no, no. No, 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 you stay away from that hazard right there. You're just about to eat yourself. Just as I eat you right into that, I'm so sorry buddy. Excuse me. Wow, dude, okay, I was going to uh, keep ya. And now that you're just doing this to me, I'm just going to destroy you instead. Is like, why? Why, buddy? <laughs> yeah, it gets done. Our purples are up there, so we're just gonna do that. The plus side, at least now we know once we get the other treasures, whether or not there actually is a bird treasure. <laughs> now, as we're going through here with now two leaf pigment, it must have gotten burned unless. There was one purple that ended up actually, um. What? Why is there one spe Oh! I was gonna say, is one on fire? No, but it's, it just hasn't calmed down since. That's uh, interesting. I was pretty sure they would just calm down to, until, uh. You know. It just calms down like in my types. Nope. <laughs> Okay, and now with all the hazards cleared, aside from right here, we can now go and try to actually collect these. <laughs> Definitely going to be escorting with the purples, just because, well, we can just stun them, just like that, and now we can actually grab the treasure, and hope that they won't actually go to fight the Tweefle. Of course that happened right there, but don't, that's okay. We can't really just, like, drive them away as much as we could with the others. Let's just get the uh, whites to. Oh, excuse me, sir. Sir. <laughs> could you maybe not? Are going to do that though and you know, try to get away from it before it does its electric blue move. Because the last thing we want is the electric Pikmin or the electric Dweeble to just launch them off. Ew. Okay. We're good. Good for now. Good for now. Okay. 
If you vote you by making it awfully hard to actually allow yourselves to survive. Don't you even look at the trip? Yeah, that's right. Don't even look at the purple Pikmin. <laughs> Don't even look at the Pikmin that are carrying these. It's gonna preemptively stun you as well. So you might only want to go after, after, after the corpse. Surprise! It wasn't trying to go after the corpse, but again, trying to escort here, trying not to get you guys eated, just like the other dude. So, one treasure down. <laughs> Now it's getting the other treasure. So in this cave, for those who play Pikmin 2 or have played Pikmin 2, do you like to wipe out this room completely of all the Dweevils? Or do you like to try to keep them alive just like I'm doing right now? Because honestly, I find it more fun trying to actually keep them alive just because it gets so chaotic. <laughs> but I've also in the past fully cleared here because it does make it a whole lot easier to actually get the Pikmin to like survive. And surprise this Dweeble hasn't already tried to pick up the treasure right here, but I'm also not complaining that it hasn't tried to pick up the corpse, or rather the treasure. But technically this treasure is a corpse, because it's a pumpkin. Oh no, are they just gonna get stuck over the Dweeble? <sighs> Thankfully, no. <laughs> but they could have, could have very easily been <laughs> stuck there though. <laughs> Okay, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, you get trying to get away from, you know, just the little dweevils here, but it doesn't mean you uh, need to make it harder on yourself to try to actually get through here. <laughs> like, oh, classic Pikmin. Pikmin not really knowing what they want to do. But again, that's just the charm of Pikmin, though. Like, sometimes their AI is great, other times it's just, like, to question what they're doing. Wait, I wonder if this Weevil could actually get... I wonder if it could actually lead the treasure with the Dweevil all the way to the ship. I doubt it, but it's possible. I'm gonna try. <laughs> And that answer was a maybe, because it looked like it would be able to, and it's going to be called Jackal Pumpkin, something like that. Possessed Squash. <laughs> okay, I mean, fair enough, it's, it's... I don't see why it wouldn't be a Possessed Squash. I just find the name kind of funny. I'm just going to separate, yep, yeah, separate the captains, come on, Olimar. I know you really want to stick with the president, but you can do parts for once. Also, we're just gonna do a, a high five. There we go, and a nap, because now Omar is very tired. After all the uh, pumpkin escorts that he just had to do right there. <laughs> now the rest should be an easy peasy, lemon squeezy, meringue pie to just go through. <laughs> but we shall see about that. And the type of Dweevil itself might actually just have a whole separate uh, uh, episode for, I'm not really sure. Just because I don't know how well it's going to go with purples. But I really want to just do purple pick one for that though. And this room actually has some uh, doodle bugs in it, so I'm going to be uh, getting a lot of pick one with us, maybe in the, not in that corner. Come on, ship. You could have gotten this beetle easier if you hadn't just blocked us. That's okay. Now we got this beetle down there. And we can finally go up there. There we go. Now, since we're in a corner here, and we could also get this juice. We actually have some juice now. Good. This time, Olimar actually absorbs that. I absorbed, I mean, drank. Is he actually drinking it? I mean, I would assume to drinking it, but who knows, maybe it's actually just absorbing into the skin. I don't know why that would be the case of it actually absorbing, considering, well, it's a burp. <laughs> but that's fine. Don't know if you already went this way, I'm pretty sure this is where the beetle was at the first time. Who is a gold one? A little golden dude. Didn't know you were down here. I'll take that. Just like, 
We'll take those two. We didn't get any of uh, any uh I said barfs. <laughs> we didn't get any of the other ones though unfortunately, but no. That's okay. I think we're just gonna speed through this room because there's actually not really that much like interesting things happening in this room. It's usually just the rest. This is just a little rest area and we're really just gonna be hunting down uh, doodle bugs and beetles. <laughs> And that's how you take care of doodle bugs. <laughs> that is the most uh, threatening thing in this level that there would actually be. Now, President, I'm going to try to actually shove you in here because trying to get them just close to quarters separate is a, a really awkward situation to do. As we know, we could just nudge. It's just slower than the usual part. It's just like right here. Maybe this one we will go across. Now, just like that, just from this room, we got like five of each spray, is now six, seven. And I believe there's still one beat off, so we we'll get like seven. So I'm going down here. I also like how there's a geisha here, just to be like, hey, by the way, just, you're like more than halfway there. I, if you want to go back, now would be the time to go back. Like, no, you sure? Okay. <laughs> Where is this last beetle? Maybe we, there isn't a, another beetle somewhere. That's pretty sure there's like two. Or well, maybe it's because there was a glint beetle. That's why. It, it was not even a glint beetle. Like, no, no they, they're golden glint beetles. I think is what they're called. <laughs> but regardless, I guess this is not. It's not like it's here. But that's okay. That means we will just go back and just love this. I love just like foilages. <laughs> I love the word foilage. I don't know why this is one of those words that just make my brain just happy saying. <laughs> but now on to sub level and I believe this is the watery area. It sure is. And there is one of those dudes. But this is one that I'm just gonna get all the Pikmin up here. And I'm just gonna use this space because I don't really feel like dealing. Well, I mean, I don't mind dealing with the gathering points. Oh, I forgot that his head there was really tough. Like, you can't just go up to it. But this is why, because I don't feel like dealing with all of this when we could just burp and get all of these things kind of just dealt with. And. Okay, well, President, now it's not the time to do that because that is how you get your, uh. I'm taking pips up, Pikmin, just like you did. <laughs> trying to get the backstab here. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make sure that the Wally Hogs don't come over here and just ruin everything. Just like, bro. Bro. That is so you need to do, darn Wally Hog. Here, darn Wally Hog, whipper snapper. <laughs> but hey, at least we're getting more sprays from this. I like how there, that is even a chance to be able to. <laughs> Get sprays and stuff like that. Pretty sure there's another Wally Wog, and this Wally Wog here actually has the treasure. Or maybe it doesn't have the treasure, I'm not sure. I'm gonna swarm the dude though. Not the best strategy to do it, so maybe I won't do that. But as long as it stays away from the majority of our Pikmin, we should actually be safe. I forgot there's also a jelly float here. So it's gonna make things up um, more awkward. But thankfully, we are not losing that many. <laughs> uh, okay, Jelly Float, okay, you do you. Yes, you you shove the Wally Wog up. <laughs> I do wonder if the Wally Wog's actually going to uh, try to get the, the Pikmin that are inside this Jelly Float or not. I don't think so. You never know. So we have six other Pikmin on us, so those must be the ones that were maybe already kind of absorbed. I have no idea. As long as this thing is not glitched, I'm fine. Hello? Yes, hello, Water Temple. Why are you trying to eat my Pikmin like that? I don't think you're going to eat my Pikmin. You're going to eat my Pikmin, apparently. 
Okay, clearly the other doubles. The other double, rather. Sorry, there's not like more than one that are on us right now. That's okay. The most hazardous thing right now that could uh, attack us is that um, Glowhog right there. I love how that's just another variety of Glowhog. Like, why there's so many varieties of it? I'm not going to complain that there's a lot of variety. It makes things more interesting. But it's still like, yeah. <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> Maybe we'll just punch these guys. Okay, there we go. So now we can actually get this treasure. <laughs> it looks like it might be a deck of cards. I was gonna say, do we really not have enough Pikmin on us to actually gather that? I also have to wonder why they decided to uh, make a new um, puff. No, I said puff stool. I, mean, I don't mind that there's actually a new puff stool. I, I love the puff stools. It doesn't. Good work, good buddy. Good work. Good work. Now. Okay, apparently we're just gonna fart on the president for like no reason. Um, okay, this might be a bit awkward. Like, oh my goodness, buddy, did you really have to do that? Okay, this on so we can just get you down because you're just being a big jerk and I'm trying to keep you alive and you just have to come over here and ruin the smoothness of gathering this treasure out here. But that's okay. <laughs> I, I also just totally forgot what I was trying to say. We got a new variety of blowhogs. It's like the, the one that's very close to... The ones that already float in... The, ugh, it's laugh at us. <laughs> well, like, compared to those guys with fire, when they already have a fiery blowhog. They... Nintendo. You could at least make one that's like ice, which they did. You could have made one that was electricity since now no longer have like a one shot KO for electricity. There's like other options, or even poison. Like that would be really cool to actually see poison. And I don't remember if there's any doodle bugs in this room either, but I'm going to keep all the Pikmin on us just to be safe, especially staying. This level has so much poison in it already, we don't need to worry about more poison. Maybe that's why we should actually grab others. Also, just try to focus on finding the treasure first before we try to break through all the, uh, the hazards. We really don't need to do that. <laughs> we know we'd be safe anyways. Okay. So, what has your favorite level been so far in the Dream Den? A lot of them, them have been fun, but it's definitely level 8 just because it's just so silly. It's like... Oh my gosh, it's a bread bug. Okay. Now it's level 8 because we got a bread bug. Unfortunately, we will need to uh, actually fight the bread bug though because of the fact uh, that it's hoarding the treasure. Yeah, it's hoarding the treasure. It makes me sad that we need to like, fight these things in order to actually get the treasure though. Because I kind of don't want to do that. Okay, well, well, sorry, buddy. Did not mean that. You're probably not just. Bam. <laughs> Maybe no, we'll let them get this treasure. Not the bread bug. I don't want the bread bug to get the treasure. We get the Pikmin. Bring the, bug, the bread bug over there. <laughs> See, bread bugs are like one of my favorite enemies. It always makes me sad that we need to actually kill them. Especially the giant bread bug. It's like they're so innocent. They just kind of are working together to just kind of do their own thing. And then all of them are, or the president, or whoever it is, just kind of comes along like, No. I think we're just going to destroy the lives of this innocent creature. <laughs> just because we can. Please do not go that way, guys. Okay. Thank you, I don't have to worry about you then, because I don't believe there's any, uh, all the boulders in here, at least as far as I know it. You guys are also just gonna... I'm gonna have to get you to just get that all out of here, too. Maybe we should just got the blue Pikmin to actually... That there. I don't think there's any doubles in here either. If there were, that would be a surprise to see at the very least. <laughs> I don't remember what this kind of piece actually is, but the boss stone. It's like it's probably like a Japanese or like Chinese chess piece or something like that. I know there's a game that's pretty similar. 
chess that we have that we have in Asia. Oh right, right here. Okay, perfect. So we have ten points on us. Let's just see how much points we have on us. Let's we'll always go towards that uh, treasure right there. We have only seven. As we only have seven, but mind you, we've lost so many Pikmin. That I'm really not surprised that uh, there's there's not more. <laughs> I just seriously love how this is just Earth. We're just on a post-apocalyptic Earth that has way too much uh, poisonous oxygen that Earth's people had to just go. They just needed to evacuate. French yellow taste triant. I'm pretty sure that's mustard. I I don't like mustard. Mustard is pretty gross. It's grown on me a little bit now, but they. I'm sure not the only one. I'm sure one of you also feels that. I don't know, do you like mustard? <laughs> do you guys like mustard? Do you just like mustard? Okay, so... Right, this level is definitely a hazardous level. I do love how the Dream Land just goes from 0 to 100 in terms of its like, difficulty. This, though, I thought it just started moving on us. I was just about to get ready to just throw hands. On the, on the corpse. <laughs> Thankfully, it wasn't. Let's see, Can of Glory. Web of Gla Glabber Girls. Stringet, stringet container. I'm guessing it had string in it? That was baking powder. I have no idea. Yeah, I thought this thing was just moving. Let's just try to find the whistle dude because it is. Causing us a little bit of awkwardness. I also don't think any of these levels now have any boulders or explosive rocks. At least I'm hoping there won't be because we screwed very easily from that. But hopefully there's gonna be an egg somewhere in here. There. The feeling might be this way. Oops, I'm sorry, but uh I'm not picking. Did not need to throw you right there. You know, just gonna separate these guys because I don't believe they can actually go all the way to spawn. I got you, little buddy. I'm so sorry. I need to destroy you, but mostly because uh, this room is so huge that I actually don't know where everything is. Especially saying it is just RNG. But it all is not quite RNG, but the way it's the layouts. Okay, so there is boulders in this one. Rest in peace, all this pigment that just got lost right there. Thankfully, it wasn't as much as I just thought we were going to lose. So that one is great. Okay, let's not lose more pigment. I don't know if these boulders are only going to appear when you know, all of them are nearby or not. Maybe we should actually just grab our whites. We do have whites on us. We do have 10 whites on us, rather. <laughs> At least now we don't really need to worry about or just as much with the yellow pigment, because we could get away a whole lot quicker than we could otherwise. But I'm going to be honest. I'm not just going to do this. Now we got them to uh, worry because now we are for sure we're not going to have to worry about it as much. I thought the boulder was already going down. Not yet. I'm on a defense because I don't know how many boulders there actually are going to be now. It's terrifying. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ten. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I feel like there's not like, going to be that much boulder, so thankfully considering well, there's only been like, what, three so far? And... I don't think there's usually more, except for this one cave that actually has like 11 falling boulders. <laughs> like in one room. Like, why is there that many boulders? And oh, sweet. Okay. At least that we don't need to go towards the Wally Wally, so unless we want to get its corpse. But I don't really feel like trying to go towards the corpse when we have boulders that we might need to worry about. And then, uh, seven. Right, we'll just get seven of those guys through. Hopefully, no boulders right on there. Okay. Basically, there is not. 
But yeah, it's what I was saying when we first entered this level is that the floor levels are actually like, randomly like randomly generated. Because there's only so much like floor layouts that there actually could be. Well, unfortunately we just lost a lot of purple pigments. Actually I think the majority of pigment that we lost were just purples. <laughs> kind of sad this room. The uh bull bear rooms. Not bull bear, the bull bar rooms. I don't know why I keep wanting to call bull bears. Bull borbs and bull borbs, bull bears. Kinda of like how I keep wanting to call Peach's uh parasol parachute. But this guy has a treasure. I'm gonna get to you, buddy. We're gonna let the other guy sleep because Oh, not doing anything, it's not like it's just gonna wake up randomly on us. Not unless we nudge him. And then I think the other one is in and other and actual week. Harry Potter! I wish I could just see the bubbles in the background. Hypnotic Platter. I almost said Planter, I don't know why I almost said Hypnotic Planter. Oh no, that was clearly the only treasure. Okay, uh, cool. That means we could just be race to the finish. We're gonna have to get you then. Okay, Purple Pikmin, you are with me. You are such a champ. Now we made it to safety with only one little dude out of the way. And I love how this actually makes all the Pikmin invulnerable. <laughs> I don't know why it makes them invulnerable, I just know it just makes it completely invulnerable. But okay, so sub level 14, which is going to be the Titan Dweevil. So, I'm actually going to try to fight at least a little bit of it right now. I don't think we're going to be defeating it in this episode. I like how Louis is kind of chilling there. But again, like Louis, the mastermind behind the whole reason why Pikmin 2 exists. Well, obviously, like, Nintendo is the reason why Pikmin 2 exists. I huddle myself in the corner over here because basically this is where the water hazard is going to be. And 22 Pikmin. See, hopefully we don't lose a lot. We're going to try to focus on getting this one treasure there. That hello, Louie, and hello, big ass Titan Weevil. How are you do? It's good to see you again after so long. Yes, okay, so we got ourselves the shoot. But at least. We have defense against fire though. Oh, some of them are already lost there, which is unfortunate. But that is okay, I'm glad that we can at least get the purples up in order to actually be able to get this. And ow, this is how we lose some of our Pikmin as well as all of our himself. But let's just see if we can actually uh while we're down there. Just lost so many Pikmin from that. It's fully my fault though. As a student, this we're going to get them. We continue to fight this. Looks like it is only the purples that really does not attack them that though. Well, there's that and fire again. <laughs> but I think though we are to go to reset this room. The reason being is because I actually just want to uh, get a whole army of just purple pigments. Because from that, that actually wasn't too bad. Actually, scratch that. I think we could probably get this thing done without the need of like 100 purple pigment. At least, hopefully, we wouldn't need to, be, need to use 100 purple pigment. Okay, so the blue one is probably where we might actually lose a little bit of our pigment. Not so much our purples, but our other pigment. <laughs> I'm also gonna try to get this one without the use of bigger sprays to see if we can actually do that. Is it going to be a yes or is it going to be a very much a no? So I also like how this is the least hazardous thing. There we go, so like that. And then switch. Switch back and thankfully it didn't actually eat any of our pigment. Now the one I'm gonna go after next, I have no idea which one I'm gonna try to uh, attack. Probably the poison this one, because it seems to be the one that actually causes me the most uh, issues. And okay, so it is actually a pretty quick. Uh, okay, I'm now going to actually use a bit of spray. It's actually a pretty quick electrical current that's going off there. 
And that means we're actually pretty close to breaking it off. That means we gotta be very, very careful. I'm actually gonna try to hit- wait, yep, we are super close to it because that is instant. Well, that's pretty cool. The fact that we barely had to use any bitter spray to actually fight it is nice. And unfortunately, using this, so back and forth, I don't think any of our Pikmin got hit there. If we do, we'll definitely know when we start losing numbers of our Pikmin. <laughs> hopefully not, though, hopefully not. Why did all of a sudden I'm just getting so much trouble with actually trying to get to this weapon? Normally I don't have this much problem actually going in and uh, attacking it, but there it is! That went off! And now the next one is going to be poison that we're going to try to get, so hopefully we'll be able to get that. Otherwise, sometimes it's really easy for me to actually be able to attack it, other times it's just like pretty hard. But also, I don't think any of our Pikmin actually ended up actually attacking any of his other weapons yet. Oh, we're blue. Take this opportunity. For sure. I don't think it can really attack our Pikmin with the water from the back like that. Okay. That's fair, dude. That's fair. We are attacking this one. <laughs> I don't blame you for just actually getting that done. Oh, we just lost some. That means the water droplet actually ended up kit there. So it's unfortunate. But Louie, we just want to beat you, buddy. We don't want to fight the poor Titan Dweevil, because the, the Dweevil is just doing its thing. It just ha so happens to have you on as a back. <laughs> it's like, imagine having Louie on your back. Ugh. <laughs> she probably wouldn't be that bad, but still. Oh, okay. okay some might, we might lose some. That's okay. I guess we could hopefully get it off really soon. That would be so nice. Here. Nope, it's not the best to try to hit it right there. But, uh, oh wow, okay, some of our Pikmin are still on it. I thought we uh, lost more than we actually did. With the sacrifice of that many Pikmin, we managed to actually get it off. So now it's just getting the right angle to actually get to the, the fire. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. If we lose some Pikmin, we lose some Pikmin. As long as we can do our best to actually survive. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll get enough RNG where it'll just want to focus on only just doing the blue for whatever reason. <laughs> this seems to be the case right now, and that's actually absolutely hilarious and absolutely helpful. So, um, thank you, buddy. Thank you for that RNG. <laughs> Watch it change now. Still not. Fortunately, we're losing Pikmin and, uh, uh, off of the president. Uh, that's okay. They sacrifices have to be made, and now it's really just the blue one. Okay, so now it's just getting to the angle to actually be able to attack this thing now. Hopefully, not too bad because it is more higher up. So, uh, let's see about that. Oh, we lost so many Pikmin. So many. I'm sorry, little buddies. So sorry. But at least we're on this side. And surprise, Olimar also has not gotten hit by it at all at that point. Because you would think of uh, the Pikmin are getting hit, you would think um, Olimar would also be getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> His last defense, or rather, Louis' last defense, is. A uh, rapid fire of some uh, a water park. <laughs> I don't know why it's a water park, but a water park. Oh, yeah, we made it to the actual uh, Dweevil, So now it's just getting it through. Now, it's unfortunate that we lost that many Pikmin, because now that, aside from the actual, um, <laughs> purples here, the only thing that's actually alive now at this point is, well, the blue Pikmin. It's unfortunate, but sometimes that's just what you have to do in Pikmin. 
especially when you are um, fighting Titan Dweevil with not having the Water Pikmin in the background. And you know what? The president did a fantastic job. And honestly, that didn't take nearly as um, much as I thought it would be. Like, literally only blue Pikmin left. That's and on the plus side, we can now gather all of the treasure here, including Louie. I just love the fact that Louie is just a treasure. <laughs> it's like, it's not even worth that much, too, which is the most funniest part to me. <laughs> and... We know which where to put all these big men. Don't have that much. So maybe we'll just allow... I think this one's actually worth... No, I was worth just about the same. Well, Goodness. You know, if we just do another one, we won't, we won't beat that much. But hey, at least we got Louie now. <laughs> we also beat Dad. Which means the next cave that we are going to be uh, waiting is the Cave of Heroes. Which is going to be kind of interesting because that to me is actually the hardest one in. The whistling woods, not even like the whole game. I don't know which one would be considered to be the most difficult. I know for no death challenge, the submerged castle has been the most difficult because it's been the only one that actually defeated some Pikmin. And the same chainsaw also still wouldn't be the most difficult. I know what for those who have played Pikmin 2, what would you say was the most difficult game to actually go by, whether it's for a deathless challenge or a non deathless challenge? Comedy bomb gets him laughing every time. Am I right? <laughs> like laughing cast, I suppose. That's probably what it is. What's that's probably what it's referencing. It's laughing gas. I don't think it's referencing mustard gas or anything like that. Still, <laughs> just gotta get the treasure back to the ship. Ugh. I still feel bad for all those Pikmin. But we're not gonna reset though, because we got it done. That's all that matters. <laughs> I don't think I can see the one purple just helping the others flare cannon. Only because it was in the cutscene. <laughs> just like it when little things like that just happen. Too many we can't just see it or the president either. If you go to Pikmin 1. And shock therapist. I was gonna say, I remember there being shock in this. <sighs> Man. That was like. I love how I said the uh, the water bomb was going to be the less lethal one, but then it actually ended up being the most lethal. Because <laughs> I don't think the electricity actually ended up killing any of our Pikmin. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just, it just it happens. I still feel bad every time. Monster pump indeed. It just destroyed everything. But hey, that's okay. We made it through, and that means one more cave left until we 100% this game, baby. And I'm very curious to know how many Pikmin are actually survived. How many Pikmin did you lose? 71 Pikmin lost. Some of them were purples, but the majority of them, them were not purples. That just hurts. But at least I'm not doing a this challenge. So <laughs> this that. But I think that's as much. I mean, Pikmin actually lost, if not more, that it lost from the Titan to evil when it's playing this as a kid. Let's see how many whites are still alive. 28. I'm probably gonna just uh, grab some out though because I believe Cavern of Heroes actually has some poison in it. I'm not sure. But either way, I'll figure that out next episode. But until then, Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up, slap that subscribe button, and send something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we don't lose 71 Pikmin. Excuse, excuse me, but it's, hopefully we don't lose that much Pikmin. But we'll see. Till then, peace.